Hi there. My name is Alana Pearl, and I am coming to you today to tell you why I decided to start removing my tattoo. So, just to jump right into it, I have been getting tattoos since I was about 17. Uh, one of my best friends at the time gave me my first tattoo. It's uh, this guy here on my wrist. Still love it. Still thankful. Yada, yada, yada. Now, I kind of just went ham, like right off the bat, and just was like, yeah, me up. I want to be fully tattooed. Let's do this. I love them. So... Um, when I finally turned 18, like the day of my birthday, I had gotten a very, very large tattoo on my arm. It was on the back of my arm here, um, went all the way down. It was huge, huge. <laughs> I kept building on that. Everyone around me in my life was like, you should take it easy, slow it down a little bit, maybe go smaller. I didn't like what people had to say to me, so I would always rebel against them. And then I ended up with a full sleeve. Even like after I had completed, or almost completed it, I was like, this does not suit me. It was beautiful artwork. It meant so much to me. Um, it still does, it's beautiful. But on the other hand, I understand how people can really get the wrong impression from what I had gotten. Um, to me, it represented where I grew up, what I was raised around, the people that I had been raised by. Um, it represented basically just where I came from and where a lot of my like decisions in the future would be based from, which it still does but I don't need to wear that literally and figuratively on my sleeve to let the world know. Um, as I'm getting older, I realize it's best to do things for yourself and, you know, do them like quietly. I don't want to be yelling, hey, these are the moves I'm making. I'd rather make them and have them be done and I could present them. So with that being said, I had wanted to start getting this full sleeve removed, like, by the time I was like 23, 24, I was like, I need this gone. It took me a few years to kind of figure out the best way to do it. Um, I had gone and seen, like, gone to go see different, like, laser specialists or um, just different people. I kept inquiring, I kept researching, um, and I had been quoted like insane amounts. People were like, that's gonna take at least 10 sessions to remove. Um, it'll probably be at least $10,000. That's kind of like the general consensus I got from multiple people. Now, through my research, I realized that there were Groupon deals for tattoo removal. And I was like, you know, Maybe I should try that. I started researching um, the group on doctors and places that offered this. And upon my research, I had found that going to basically either a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon is the best route to go for two, and I'm sure more reasons, but the two main reasons for me were they can offer um, an anesthetic so they could give you the shots so it numbs it because it is very painful and they could also do the cream um, and then also they use a higher laser setting than your typical like laser uh, like laser I don't know what is not studio but like laser place like laser way or places like that um, they typically don't use the highest setting because they want you to keep coming back. They want you to pay the $1,000, $2,000 per session to remove your big thing. It isn't exactly a uh, hard skill. I mean, obviously it, it takes precision and like knowing what you're doing, but there's only like two to three states in the U.S. 
where you have to have um, like your nursing license and you have to be a nurse for at least two years to operate the laser machine in Cal California where I live is one of those states so once you are a nurse you could basically just take this month-long course I don't think it's even a month it's maybe just like one course learn how to operate the laser machine you buy the laser machine that is very expensive and that's why it is so expensive to uh, get laser removal and from there, you're set to use laser. You could use it for hair removal, you could use it for like skin pigmentation, you could use it for all sorts of things. Like laser has many benefits. And you could use it to remove people's tattoos. So I even thought of, maybe I should go to nursing school and get a laser and just rack out removing people's tattoos and performing like laser procedures. I decided against that. That's not really something I wanna do, <laughs> but I ended up purchasing a Groupon deal. This is my little hack on how to get less expensive laser removal. Um, I purchased a laser removal package where you could get three sessions for like a 15 square inch um, area and it was like $300. I was like, sick, let's get this started. I'm ready for this to be gone. So where I went, which I'm, I got so lucky with the place that I went to. It's um, a plastic surgeon here over in Beverly Hills in Los Angeles. His name is Dr. Rosenberg. And I love everyone at the clinic. They're all so sweet, um, have been very kind to me. This is in no way affiliated with them. I'm just kind of promoting them on my own because I'm very happy with the few sessions I've gone to and the results I've received. Um, they, they basically told me that what I wanted to remove at the time, I since I'm going in segments on my arm, and the, the full piece that I wanted to remove was like 40 to 45 square inches. So they told me I would have to use the, the three purchase packages at once. So it would, the 15 square inches added up to 45 since I got three of the sessions. And then what they offered me from there was a new patient deal. So I had to buy a minimum amount of sessions and I got like, it was like 70% off. So what I suggest to anyone that's looking to get the smallest thing or the, you know, like their biggest piece removed, I suggest to look on Groupon first. Do your research obviously for where you're buying the Groupon from, but other than that, definitely go through Groupon because likely, um, once you get the three sessions done, they'll offer you a, a package where it's the new new um, patient package. And you could probably get your tattoo removed for, depending on the size, like a fraction of what you've been quoted. Like, please, please, please do your research before you're doing this. So with that being said, I wanted to show you guys my results. I haven't been probably since like September of last year and I just haven't bought another session yet. Um, but my results are insane. Granted, I do have, I, I'm a very good candidate for laser. I'm very pale and I have um, like the ink on my skin sticks out really well so the laser knows exactly what to choose. So I feel very lucky to be a good candidate for this, but no one expected my results to be like as good as they are. So let's see, I'll show you guys pictures of the before. But basically, we are coming right along. And so I'm getting this full sleeve removed and I likely won't be getting anything redone, maybe just a couple of little guys like on this side, but up here was basically as dark as down here was. And now it's, it looks like it's been like erased with like a pencil eraser. <laughs> and I just need to go back and like kind of just clean it up. But I'm so excited. I can't wait to do more. And I just want to give people hope that like, you can get your tattoos removed. You don't have to be stuck with like, say you had someone that wasn't skilled doing your tattoos, which is like really common. I got lucky that mine was actually beautiful, but like I said, it wasn't what I wanted. I felt like I was trapped in my body that like I didn't want to have. So 
I'm so happy to even be where I am now with it. I feel much more confident. I still have <laughs> more I want to remove, even just aside from this, but I mean, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to comment, um, share, like, send this to people so they have hope that they don't have to be stuck with what they hate or even what they kind of like. Thanks guys.